Virgos, what is going on? It's your girl Raven, aka Triple P. How are you guys doing tonight? I hope that you're doing well because I am. So is my dog Odin. We're just chilling, you know, just hanging in there. <laughs> All right, so check it. This reading will be for the sign of Virgo, okay? You may not even be a Virgo. You could just have it somewhere in your chart, and therefore the energy could still resonate for you, okay? And before I get started on this reading, my lovely Virgos, I'm going to take a moment, as always, at the beginning of my video to say thank you. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you've been showing the channel. All the love and support. All the love and support. Ugh, Mercury retrograde. All of the love and support that you've been showing me and Odin. Thank you guys so much. Please continue to thumbs up the videos, okay? Um, to my new and my returning subscribers, what's up? Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for returning, okay? All right, so Virgo. I'm not sure what tonight's ring is going to be about. We're just going to get some index cards going and just see what the energy is, you know? All right, so, Holy Spirit, please tune me into the collective energy of Virgo. Can you please show me Virgo's messages? What's going on with Virgo? Hmm? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, mm, somebody's, somebody's a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, somebody did something dumb. Okay, what else for Virgo? Okay, that's a big pal, but at the top it says, I am no good, toxic as fuck. I'll take that, and then we'll see what else flies out for Virgo. What else for Virgo? Okay. So here could be having a rebirth. We have one of Odin's runes, which is uh, Burkano, which means birch goddess. It means uh, rebirth, healing, sanctuary. Okay, then we have, there is more to be revealed about this situation, obviously. Okay. Um, it says, I watch the rain and think of you. Oh. And the last one says, bulletproof protection. Okay, so you guys have bulletproof protection. This could be spiritually, you know, in a 3D, whatever. But you guys have protection, for sure. I was going to say, let me see what final message comes out. But it just threw itself all over the floor. All right, um, I don't know if you guys ever played the video game Grand Theft Auto, but I have GTA, so someone here could have a five-star wanted level, which means they're probably wanted by the cops or have warrants or something. Uh, somebody, they, they really dabble in vices, you know, like theft, all that, or someone just really likes to play Grand Theft Auto. Oh my God, I was trying to make sure I didn't fly off the table. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, so Virgo. Let's see what's going on, shall we? Let's see what's up, what's up, what's up. Okay, Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of Virgo. Can you please clarify for us this fucking idiot energy for Virgo? What's the idiot? What's that about? Okay, somebody wants to come to you and talk to you about something and maybe come to a compromise. They want to reach an agreement or reconciliate with you about something. This got something to do with a third-party situation since he's standing in between two women fighting. Now, that doesn't mean that they're fighting over him. You know, it just looks that way. It could be just that somebody's just trying to break up a girl fight. So somebody may feel like an idiot maybe for maybe getting into a fight with somebody or a disagreement. Now they want to come in and compromise or somebody here feels like an idiot because they want, because they try to compromise or something. Okay, I'm sorry to see what he had in his mouth. <laughs> My dog is very crafty. What's the compromise about? Marionette. Dictatorship, domination, reluctance. Okay, so control freak. Somebody wants to dominate somebody. Control something that's going on. Di dictate something. Somebody here feels like an idiot because... They try to manipulate something to do with somebody compromising or coming to agreement or reconciling with somebody. I'm going to call out some numbers here. These could be angel numbers, but they don't always repeat, so they can be just numerology, whatever. Okay? A lot of times I'll spit out numbers that sound like phone numbers or something, you know? So just take it how it resonates. But I have 3315. What else for fucking idiot?
I said third wheel. There goes the third wheel is in the reverse. So somebody here wants to get out of a third wheel situation, an enemy, distrust, or flirtation. This or this could be a bad guy. Not doesn't have to be like bad, bad, bad guy. I mean like this is somebody that you would not trust, someone who's an enemy in your eyes at the moment. What's the third wheel? Somebody that you're in a third party situation with. They feel stuck in a nightmare. They're suffering in darkness. Maybe they feel persecuted here with the um, nightmare card. Someone here feels like an idiot because they let somebody... It's, I'm gonna put it like this. Someone feels like an idiot because it seems like they let someone go that was karmic to them, like a karmic ex. This could be a friend or a relationship, whatever. Somebody cut somebody off, I feel, and they came in wanting to come to reach an agreement, and they foolishly let them dominate and manipulate them into a into you know reconciling with them, and now they they feel like they're stuck in a third party nightmare. <laughs> so in other words. Somebody made a wrong decision, okay? <clears throat> and they let somebody dictate or dominate something. <laughs> so wherever they went, whatever third party they chose, they're stuck there. And they do not hate it. I mean, they do not like it there at all. Yeah, they feel like they lost. They feel like they're they're, so they're in sorrow. They are in bereavement over this. This is damage. <laughs> For sure. 3775. What's the loss? illness disease weakness fragility somebody over is sick with it somebody's over there losing they're losing stuff they're grieving things the uh people could be getting sick i mean it's just like a bad toxic energy here it's a disturbance look it's like <laughs> uh obscure irritation supernatural they're, this is an evil entity on someone's back you know take out resonates but somebody is definitely just they feel dumb Someone here feels like an idiot, or you may be calling someone an idiot because you're sitting there watching them be dominated and controlled in connection in a third party situation. And you're just like, dude, this is stupid. So either you may feel this way, someone in your energy feels this way, or you may feel this, you know, you're just like, dude, you're an idiot for doing this. You knew damn well that this was not going to work out, but yet you did it anyway. What's the, um, I am no good, toxic as fuck? ominousness cautiousness sign insidious so you may be receiving signs from the universe or around you or you just felt insidious energy around this person what's the ominousness one three three five i forgot to tell you that blind awkward unknown vision problem so this is something this toxic energy here you may just you turned a blind eye to it maybe you just were in denial about it being toxic or you know it was just something that you didn't see coming you know, and then we have mask, deception, pretending, inconstancy. So somebody definitely was lying about something. Someone here was wearing a mask. Okay, we got treasure, abundance, valuable enrichment. Maybe someone was trying to cause endings to your abundance. What's the, what else is I am no good toxic as fuck for uh, Virgo? Somebody's um, somebody's thought process uh, um, keeps them disappointed, isolated, and alone. We have idea here, inspiration, suggestion, or a vision. And then we have loneliness, dullness, disappointment, isolation. So this is a toxic energy who always finds themselves alone and they're disappointed and isolated. And it's because of the way their mind works. Maybe they're manifesting this. Um, number 4131. What else? Okay, we have alliance here. Trust, honesty, compatibility. Let me see what goes with that. What's alliance? Good news, encouragement, miracle, surprise. Okay, so... <laughs> you okay? <laughs> All right, that was loud. All right, so you could, you could be hearing some kind of news. This could be good news about alliance or somebody you could trust, somebody who's honest with you. What's the lines of good news about with I'm no good? Somebody's preparing to come towards somebody that you can trust, somebody who's honest, somebody that you have a good rapport with. You know, you really trust them. They're a good friend. They're preparing themselves. Their readiness is here. They're preparing themselves to come towards you and deliver some news about this toxic energy, maybe. Hmm. Let me keep going. What is Odin's room, Bacano, with Virgo? What's that about? 
Okay, um, Odin's room, Bacano, uh, means rebirth, sanctuary, mature wisdom, healing, and safety. We got strategy here, planning, prediction, mind reading. So this could talk about a strategy or something that's going on here uh, surrounding a rebirth that, you're maybe, that you may be going through. Um, something that's being predicted, maybe. What else? What's the strategy? Where did he go? Withdrawal, quit, awakening, rejection. Someone here is having an awakening. That's what it is. They're, have, they're definitely having a rebirth. Odin, what are you doing? He needs his water. Give me a second, guys. I got to fill up his bowl. I'm back. Sorry about that. I forgot to fill up his bowl before I started recording. Okay, so now that the baby's taken care of, I can move forward. So, as I was saying... Um, we were on Odin's room, Bacano, which means, um, birch goddess. Um, the meanings are rebirth, sanctuary, mature wisdom, healing, safety. You are having an awakening and you're strategizing in your mind. I mean, you're just strategizing about this awakening. You're having this mature, you're getting, you're gaining mature wisdom. You're healing. You're having a rebirth, a spiritual birth, maybe. What else? And you're, and, and because of this, you may quit a lot of things. You might give up smoking. You may make a lot of lifestyle changes. I mean, there's a lot of things going on here. This got something to do with your friends, too, who you connect with, your network, your team, friendship. So maybe you're having, like, um, like some sort of, like, um, awakening about who you're connected to or something. Or maybe you're having a rebirth into your friendship, into your friend group or something. Maybe you're coming back out and like being reintroduced to society. It's like you're leveling up and this time when you come out on stage, it's, you're going to have a new audience. You know, that type of energy. That's kind of how it feels. What's the friendship? 4860722. Hesitation, decision, confusion, worry. So you might have been worried or a little indecisive or just not knowing which way to go as far as a friend group is concerned. You may have cut, you may have like strategized away. I mean, you're not strategized away, but you may have like strategically cut yourself away from this toxic group or something like that. Maybe, maybe because you were confused about them or you were worried about them. So it's not even as though they've done anything to you. It's just that maybe you're having an awakening to the friends around you and what their objectives really are whether they be good or ill you feel me what else inducement um persuasion bribe temptation maybe um you're recognizing that someone wants to come towards you and try to bribe you or tempt you into doing something and maybe their goal is to get your treasure. Because this is goal here. Purpose, expectation, destination. And then we have treasure, abundance, valuable, enrichment. So maybe, you know, as you have this like coming out, you know, party spiritually, you know, you're going to come out into a new up cycle of abundance. You know, you're going to have more money. You're going to be doing well. You're going to have uh, big projects happening. More people going to want to work with you. And this may be a calling to you really you know, vet out who it is that you're hanging around with because there are people around you that only look to take you for what, what you got or they just want to, or their goal is just to be where you are because they know you, not because they put in the work and they and they can be up there with you, but they're like, they just want to ride your coattails, you know? Okay, 5226. Um, okay, what is there is more to be revealed about the situation? Oh, imagination, variety, fantasy, mind. So it's like, spirit's like, oh, there's plenty. Like, you know, it's up to your imagination. Just imagine it. <laughs> What's imagination for Virgo? Saving, preservation, collection, meanness. What else? 6349. Stability, harmony, acceptance with okay. Hold on a second. I think if you're concerned about like your... Um, your finances and you like your stability. I think that's what this is about. Let me read this out first. We have aid, mercy, charity, kindness. And what else? Relaxation, peace, tranquility, easiness. And what's the relaxation? Uh, disturbance, obscure, irritation, supernatural. Okay, so let me read this out.
Okay. You have someone in your energy um, that is in their mind. They're fantasizing about how to preserve or save a connection or someone here is thinking about how to build stability within it, like security, <clears throat> like getting coins together and things like that. So this could have something to do with maybe an idea that you have about, you know, making money, making more money so that you could be stable and okay, you know, and also this could have something to do with a charity. So, you know, you could be in your mind about how you're going to stack coins, you know what I'm saying, so that you can be okay. But at the same time, you could be merciful to others and charitable and show kindness um, and not have your peace disturbed. Or someone here is looking to disturb your peace. What's the disturbance about? Damn. <sighs> Haters, boy. Curse, hate, catastrophe, misfortune, Virgo. Really? Somebody that you may have had a creative idea with or, you, or a project or something about building stability or something or helping people out or something like that. They mean to disturb your peace by sin and hate, by by creating misfortune or create a catastrophe by maybe hexing a person or using the magic or something like that. I'm going to get to some tarot. Don't worry. We'll get this definitely clarified out. What's, I watch the rain and think of you. Mmm. Trap, victim, allure, trick. Somebody trying to trick you? What's the trap? Conflict, difference, disputation, quarrel. Bottom of the deck, we got confinement, captivity, tolerance, unfreedom. Someone here feels trapped in conflict. And all they can do is just sit and watch the rain and think about you. What else? Yeah, maybe they dream about you. Satisfaction, comfortable, lazy day. Maybe they're thinking about... All the good lazy days you guys had where you guys were just chilling and everything was good, when everything's peaceful, all the just someone's sitting and thinking about how they got themselves caught into something. And how you're their abundant, like luck, jackpot, fortune, reward, like you are somebody's lottery ticket, you're like you're their golden ticket, you are their everything. It's not even so much as like money, I'm just saying like you're like all that in a bag of chips, you feel me? Someone is thinking about how sweet you are, how you have sweet dreams, how you're comfortable, how you're just living a lazy, not a lazy life, but you know, you're, you're good, you know, and you move when you want to, you know, and you're unbothered. And that brings you a lot of fortune, a lot of reward, a lot of good fortune here. It's like you're chilling, you're unbothered, and somebody here is stuck in a trap and conflict, and they're sitting and they're th watching the rain and thinking about you. Someone here may have definitely made a bad decision. Robbery, exploitation, incaution, unfairness, mass, deception, pretending, incaution. Yeah, I can't make it up. Yeah, so somebody here is watching the rain and thinking of you after they made a foolish decision of some sort that got them caught up in a trap and now they're in conflicts and they're fighting or whatever. They could be with you or someone else. Take out resonates here. You know, meanwhile, they're watching, they're thinking about you and they're thinking they're having sweet dreams about winning with you. But somebody, but this could also speak of a, a deceptive energy here who has sweet, who they, they, their satisfaction, what makes them comfortable, what they dream about every night is taking your luck away from you with robbery and masking, robbery, exploitation, and caution, unfairness, like wanting to deceive somebody and it masks more deception as energy here. So somebody here is sick. I'll just say that they're sick. Somebody here is in the mindset of watching. They get off on watching people suffer. This could also be seen that somebody here got caught up in a trap. You know what I'm saying? And now they're just made to sit back and watch you win. You know, and but I really feel as though somebody here is like, <laughs> they're thinking about you because they're thinking about how they can maybe victimize you through conflict. And take away from your abundance by stealing from you or something. That's weird. People need to get a real life. I promise you, Virgo, it's not that damn hard. It's not. And see, I've been trying to cut back on cursing on the channel. You feel me? Because, you know, I don't want to put that kind of... Even if it's a negative situation, I don't want to add to the negative energy. You feel me? 
But sometimes I feel like, I, you know, you guys vent through me. You know, you vent. I mean, we we readers, you know, we're able to vent your energy sometimes, you know. And so that's where a lot of that passion comes from when you see readers who are like fussing a whole lot. Because you, we really do try to keep it in, but it's just so aggravating. And I know if y'all are going through this and y'all pissed off, I mean, you, you understand. It's just like, wow, this is so stupid. What's the bulletproof protection? It's childish. It's immature. Overload, excess obligation, overwhelm. You have bulletproof protection against anybody who is looking to overwhelm, stress you out, or burden you, okay? Your spirit team is with you. What's overload and bulletproof protection? Fright, depression, phobia, paranoia. So somebody could have came against you and tried to attack your bulletproof protection, and now they're sitting overwhelmed and they're um, depressed or they're afraid or something. You could be stressing out over what's going on around you right now and feeling kind of depressed about it. And this could be also your confirmation. The Spirit is telling you that you, we got your back. Okay. What else? 6762. Evidence, detection, investigation, proof. Okay. There could be investigation going down. What's that? Commitment, binding, obstruction, contract. So th this could be your spirit team. Really looking into what it is that may have you stressed out, what's overwhelming you, what's keeping you afraid, and that, and they did this investigation and found proof that there is some something that's obstructing you or binding you. Um, what else? Okay, so. Yeah, something is obstructing, something aims to obstruct your spiritual gift, your inner peace, your simplicity, your ability to meditate, your spiritual promotion, your delight, the gift here and calm. But let me put these back. I don't like the way those fell out. What's the bulletproof protection? Yeah, you're, this is Empress Energy, self-love, self-concern, self-healing, independent. You're independent. You're full of self-love, self-healing. You heal others, but you take care of yourself. You mind your own business. You're independent. You know, you love who you are. You nurture that. And because you do that, you have bulletproof protection. You know, spirit is definitely going to give you confirmation about this with this promise card. Responsible confirmation assurance. You're going to receive that. Okay, because you're very talented. You know, profession here. Okay, you're a very talented individual here and you need to be protected. Okay, so. All right, Virgo. Let me get into some tarot. I'm trying to keep an eye on a timer. Okay, what deck do we want to use? We'll use the Pope Tarot. All right, Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the collective frequency of Virgo. Can you please clarify this situation that's going on here for Virgo? I suck at shuffling. I say on every video. <laughs> Doesn't make it any less true. That and I'm trying to keep from flying these cards off the table. Because if they fly, they're going to stay. <laughs> All right. So, Seven of Swords reverse at the bottom. Or it could be upright, too, since it's at the bottom. Which can mean some sort of de trickery, deception, lying. Something could be some sort of truth can be coming out about something somebody lied about. Maybe somebody cheated here. King of Cups in reverse. Maybe this is going to be reported to you with the Page of Swords here. What's, okay, so what's going on here? Hold on. What's going on here for Virgo? Okay, an unhappy home or a home dynamic that just fallen apart. Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse here. So... This could have something to do with like money and bills not getting paid, you know, like something that's affecting the stability of the home financially or ta with tangible or intangibly or what? No, tangibly. Sorry. What's the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Investment energy. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Six of Cups. Something they did in the past. 
somebody made a bad investment in the past. This could be money, a scheme, a scam, something like that. And it kind of sunk the family. That's one interpretation I'm getting. Like, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Like, this is somebody, like, losing their inheritance. Like, somebody stealing someone's inheritance or something like that. This is something that you're really investing into or you've put investing into or someone invested into it somehow. Was it Six of Cups? Seven of Pentacles? Three of Swords is in the reverse. So, recovering from a heartbreak. Somebody that's been heartbroken. This could be an X energy with the Six of Cups here. So this could be a broken home, you know, like where like maybe somebody's getting a divorce or they're separating or whatnot, you know, like a couple separating. And um, the reason being is because somebody is just way too invested in the past and they need to heal and move on with this Three of Swords in reverse. What else? What's the fucking idiot energy? Somebody feels like an idiot. King of Pentacles energy. Um, because he got betrayed. Ten of Swords. Maybe by his community or a group of people. Because we got the Three of Cups behind that. Three of Cups. But... This King of Pentacles, which could be Taurus energy, um, or just Earth, any Earth sign energy here. This King of Pentacles is a like a father figure. You know, he takes care of all the bills in the house. You know, he's financially stable and everything. He got betrayed by a group of. It could, this could be a group of women or just a group of people. Like somebody really deceived him. This could be a group of people he thought were friends. Somebody he celebrated with. Somebody in his community. Um, or this could be feminine energy too. Maybe, you know, feminine here was betrayed, but we got the five of cups in reverse, which tells me that this is, um, at this point, this king of pinnacles is just trying to look at the silver linings of the situation. And just move forward. Definitely. So this definitely spells out to me like a scam, like somebody got scammed. Somebody invested into something maybe to build stability for their family and what they invested into just turned out to be fraudulent. So now they're trying to recover from it the best way they can. With this Ten of Swords here in the upright, that's an ending with a new beginning. So this King of Pentacles, he, beca he could be cutting off a community of people that he used to celebrate with or mingle with or whatever. You know, and decide to just, you know, cut his losses and just move forward. What is, um, there is more to be revealed about this situation. I'm going to look at what it fell out. Okay. Page of Pentacles is in the upright. Um, someone who's skilled with their hands or someone producing an idea or trying to manifest a new beginning or manifesting something. What's the page of Pentacles? Somebody had an idea or maybe somebody's like a tarot reader or they work with their hands or something. This is somebody's met what they someone's what someone's manifesting. This is what that is. The Page of Pentacles. He's like a novice. Um, it's a child. It could be like a childlike energy, but it, it speaks to me in this sense of like a novice, like apprentice. You know, like a like someone who's like learning new things about manifesting or something in this instance. Because we have the Emperor and the Nine of Cups here, so it's like there's more to be revealed about the situation where someone here was trying to manifest. Like a maybe a divine masculine energy, which would be their wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. So maybe you were working on manifesting your divine counterpart. You feel me? It's not like it has to be karmic or anything like that. It's just you wanted your twin flame or your soulmate or just, you know, your significant other, whatever. You feel me? So there's more to be revealed about the situation, about what you were manifesting in the form of this emperor and nine of cups. The emperor, he's Aries energy. 
What else? What's this Emperor Nine of Cups and the Page of Pentacles? You might have been questioning, like, what you were manifesting or, you know, like, just, I don't know. Something, something is, like, left out here. What's this Nine of Cups Then the Emperor? Five of Swords in the reverse. Like, a past, um... Like there, there might have been a fight or a conflict that happened that somebody has a desire to reconcile with you about because they want to reunite with you with the two of cups. So somebody's trying to manifest you back. Somebody may have made a mistake and lost you or you lost them. Take it how it resonates here, Virgo. And now, um, now somebody wants to manifest you back. They're trying to manifest, you know, they're, they're working on themselves. They're manifesting themselves into the you know, into their, into their divine spot, you know, like I'm the man here, you know, the emperor, he's like, he's on his throne, he's chilling and he's got his dupes up too. Like he's ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? Like he fights for what he wants. He stands up for what he believes in, you know, authority figure, father figure. Their wish fulfillment would be to be able to work through a final argument that you guys had that may have you know, splits, and, and, and it may not have split you up, but you guys are maybe going through something. It may have caused a kink in the chain, maybe, in y'all's relationship. Maybe you guys are trying to work together on something and got into a fight over it, three of pentacles in the reverse. Or maybe, 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 maybe. This could also be seen, because this is more to be revealed about the situation. This could be seen as somebody here Hmm, hold on. Hold on, one more thing. What's this Five of Swords reverse? Before I say that, hold on. The Sun reverse, pessimism. Somebody lost you due to being negative. It doesn't have to be an actual fight or argument. It's just that someone just had like a mindset about something that happened in the past and they're just so negative about it. I don't know. Something's weird about that. Okay. What is, um, what's Odin's Room Bracano? What's that about? Okay, you're having a rebirth because you were just not happy or somebody was in Ten of Cups in reverse. This is some like someone broken dreams, shattered dreams, you know, that type of energy. So you're having an awakening. I mean, not an awakening. You're um, having a rebirth. You know, you're healing. You know, you're healing your emotional disappointments in your life, the things that make you depressed, the things that you've lost. You may have lost a lot of things. You may have, you may have a lot of struggle in relationships. You're healing from that. That's what that Bricano means. Band-Aid. I got a shot earlier today. I really could take it off, but I don't want to take it off yet. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, then we have the Eight of Wands, too. Maybe you're thinking about moving, traveling, seeking sanctuary. You're unhappy, and you want to get away. You want to move away. You, I mean, not like forever, but it's like you need a vacation. What's this Eight of Wands? Oh, ho, ho, hold on. Okay, now, okay. Let me shuffle. We got justice here. <laughs> Libra energy. So this could have something to do about you finding, you know, your balance. You feel me? You finding your balance in uh, dealing with your fears with the moon here. I suck at shuffling. I tell y'all this all the time. <laughs> all right. What's this eight of wands? Yeah, star is in reverse. Aquarius energy, lack of faith, like disconnection from source. You need to heal. Somebody needs to heal. Then we got the seven of swords, a betrayal, a lie, something that somebody's holding in or just keeping like somebody's being sneaky about something. Somebody here was lied to or they were betrayed one way or the other and they need to heal from it. And they may need to travel and go into some sort of solitude or rest to find that healing or whatnot. But what's the seven of swords? Or someone here just wants to run away because they've been hurt so many times and they've lost faith. 
and th and they've lost faith in the world. They've lost faith in their path. They lost faith in their self in themselves because maybe they feel overwhelmed because they keep getting lied to with the seven of swords here. Then we got the nine of swords right here at the bottom, which just talks about anxiety and worry. You know, like not being able to sleep at night. Ace of Wands reverse. Somebody was emotionally. I mean, somebody was disappointed. Um, something didn't take off. Delays, frustration, and then the six of swords reverse. Somebody definitely needs to heal. I'm gonna keep saying it. Somebody here has like unfinished business about something and it's keeping them from moving forward with the chariot reverse. Somebody here needs to heal. Queen of Cups reverse. Now the Queen of Cups reverse could talk about like, yeah, an energy needs to heal because she's jealous, you know, insecure, all this and that and other. But it could also mean inner healing. Like you taking some time out to heal yourself, you know. That's what they could also mean the Queen of Cups when she's in reverse. It's like turning that healing in and healing yourself. So this could definitely talk about you becoming that birch goddess or birch god. You know, this is your rebirth, your sanctuary, your mature wisdom, your healing, your safety. You're looking out for you, Virgo, and you're you're taking charge of your healing and you're having a rebirth about your journey all because of this. Because you're like, I can't keep going this way. I can't keep doing this to myself. Okay, what's um? I watched the rain and think of you. We have the Knight of Cups here. Okay, so somebody who wants to come forward and offer you something emotionally, whether it's like a expression of love, like I love you, or I'm sorry, you know, somebody wants to come in and, and tell you something. What's this Knight of Cups? It's like knight in shining armor energy. Two of swords in reverse. Somebody who was indecisive about something. Somebody who had a decision to make and just didn't know what to do. You may have blocked this energy out. Two of swords is Libra energy. What's this two of swords in reverse? High priestess, <laughs> somebody who's highly intuitive, could be psychic, uh, could do readings or do divination or something like that, or just a spiritualist, you know. What's the high priestess? Someone here could be hold that, and the high priestess also talks about like hidden knowledge, you know, things like that, like knowing what's going on or something like that. We got the Ace of Swords in reverse. That's clouded judgment, chaos. Someone here, I think, was confused about who you were as a high priestess, which made them confused about who they needed to offer something to, and they made a wrong decision or something like that. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse, you know, gold digger, hustling energy. So clouded judgment. Somebody here may have ran to someone who appeared to have their shit together, someone who looks good, they look sexy, you know, look like they really hard, uh, work hard, and they may even lie and say they do all this and other and other, and they're not. They're broke ass. They, you know, they're gold digger. They live beyond their means. You know, they just want to be idolized. They just want to, they just worried about outer appearances. So this could also just talk about someone who just is just always worried about outer appearances all the time. They don't have to be a gold digger or anything like that. It just means that they're just like worried about outer appearances only. Like they're not really invested into what's going on on the inside as far as emotions. Their heart chakra could be closed. So someone here made a, you know, a judgment. It was clouded judgment and they might have ran to this energy here, mistaking them for something else. Okay. All right. So... What's the bulletproof protection? Then I get you some advice, my Virgo energies. What's bulletproof protection? Okay, we got four swords. Okay, what's the four swords? Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. And what what's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse about? Ace of Cups reverse. Okay, let me read it out. Hold on. What else? What's the Ace of Cups reverse? Okay, um, and then the five, king, that's King of Cups upright and then the Five of Wands here. What it is is that Spirit is telling you that you need to get you some rest. Okay, you're worrying about things that are going on that you have no control over because things, because the will of fortune turns when God says so, when the Most High says so, whenever Spirit says so. You feel me? You're, uh, you're going through a lot of emotional loss and disappointment. You could be depressed. Somebody here could be depressed. And they're going, and there's a lot of competition and conflict and arguments going on, arguments going on around you, and you're probably trying your best to remain emotionally balanced and stable through it all. But it's, you know, spirit is telling you that, you know, get you some rest because we've got your back. Okay, you've got protection from uh, any of this, you know, 
any of this bullshit that's going on around you, all this fighting and stuff, you got protection from that. But also Spirit is saying that what's keeping you stuck, what's keeping that wheel of fortune from turning because it's in the reverse right here, is, is your own emotional unhappiness. You know, this is something that you're in control of and you have to balance them so that you can move on and be happy. What else? Yeah, it's time to heal. You've been through a lot here. We got the Six of Swords upright this time. Okay, that's embarking on a healing journey, you know, like moving to calmer waters. It's time. Somebody here definitely wants to travel and move away from all this bullshit and this conflict, and they want to move forward in their lives. Temperance is in reverse, which means like someone here may have been trying to force, you know, um, destiny or like, you know, someone's impatient. And they're out of balance here, you know, um, Sagittarius energy. And that could have created some illusions here, or this could be a Sagittarius energy that created illusions here with the Seven of Cups here. What else? Yeah, it's time to set yourself free. Eight of Swords in the reverse, which means you're releasing negative thought patterns and things like that to keep you stuck here. Yeah. And that could have something to do with your drive. Like you may have lost like your, some of your drive and motivation with the Knight of Wands in reverse. You know, it could make you frustrated. Spirit is telling you to be patient with yourself as you evolve into this rebirth. Okay, let me get you some advice here, my Virgo energies. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the takeaway advice here for my Virgos about this situation? Okay. One more. Thank you. Okay, so we have worth. You're being asked to honor your worth. It can be so easy to feel that we aren't good enough or worthy of happiness. This simply isn't the case, however. You are worthy and you have inherent value. It's time to cherish yourself and see your true worth. <clears throat> Excuse me. So spirit is calling on you to, to check your worth. You know what you're worth, okay? And it's okay for you to express it and to honor it, you know? And when we go through tough times, it can make us feel like we're unworthy. When we get rejected, we can instantly go into that mindset of maybe I'm just not good enough and you got to get out of that, okay? Then next we have check-in. When you think about whatever it is that you're pondering, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or heavier, excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guidance. It is always very helpful. So check in with your inner guidance about situations, okay? When you're thinking about things, like certain situations, you know, when you think of it, is, does it give you a light feeling or a heavy feeling? You know, keep checking in with that because that's how, kind of how you can train your intuition, you know, or trust your intuition. Okay, patience. You're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this, but you're strong and there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to in this moment. Have patience. It will eventually work out. So spirit is calling on you to be patient. Don't fall out of balance here. This temperance card in reverse could talk about somebody trying to push results on something. Okay, it's time for you to be patient. Let me get you some hip hop queens advice, my Virgos. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the advice here, for Virgo? All right, one. Okay, what else? I need two more, please. Okay, one more. There we go. All right, so we have Erica Badu with spirituality. Okay, let's see what Erica says. Miss Badu. All right, her key words are meditation, mindfulness, godliness, prayer, and practice. Erica Badu's oracle card is deeply rooted in the abstract, more so than others. Take pulling it as a significant sign. You're seeking something tangible, yet need to consult with the intangible to truly achieve it. We can calm our minds in many ways if we believe. Through God, the universe, the stars, earth. It all has a connection to the oracle, the all-knowing. But again, these are things you can't see or touch, so stillness is the move. Take time to center yourself. You need to heighten your senses. Play music or connect. With, I mean, if you need to heighten your senses, play music or connect with nature, but you can't use your phone. Yeah, so it might be time to meditate. Maybe time to take a step back for a minute and just, you know, really look into things, you know, on a spiritual basis, you know, manifesting. You're not just manifesting material things, but manifesting your own inner happiness, your own joy, your own positive outcome, you know, like step away from the phone and the Internet and all of that for a while and just really spiritually ground yourself. Like really just, you know, center yourself. Okay. Next up, we got Mia X. That's my girl with strength. 
Okay, let's see what Mia says. Okay, her keywords are endurance, fortitude, leaning in, and bossiness. When life gives you lemons, cut them up, add some sugar, and make a lemon meringue pie. Forget lemonade, take it to the next level. Mia X exemplifies never giving up and pulling her card is a message to follow suit. You never know the limits of your strength until you test them. You'll be surprised with what you come up with. Blast past those boundaries like you're the one driving the tank. This ain't a battle, this is war. So Spirit is telling you that you can endure, that you will persevere, that you will overcome these challenges you're going through. When life gives you lemons, cut them up as sugar and make a lemon meringue pie. Okay, then we have Mary J. Blige, healing. That's my girl. Okay. Mary J. All right, her keywords are reflection, therapy, breaking patterns, and recovery. You can't heal what you don't reveal. Mary's card is prompting you to take a closer look at the traumas you've endured to understand how you're behaving in the present. Identify the obstacles you've encountered in your life. Sometimes we react so aggressively to the slightest things and have no idea why. Well, it's time to explore the reasons. A personal deep dive will help you to better understand yourself and in turn help you better control your emotions. If you can't do it on your own, seek the guidance of a professional or a spiritual guide or elder. You deserve a drama-free life starting with yourself. So Spirit is saying that this is your time for reflection, for therapy, for breaking patterns. You know, you can't hear what you don't reveal though. So it's time for you to, you know, really look deeper into those traumas, those things, those wounds, that wounding. It's really time to really dig into that and see what it is so we can heal from it, you know? Okay, so Virgo, I'm going to end your reading there, okay? I really hope that that resonated for you, and I hope that you enjoyed it because I enjoyed reading for you. It was really fun. You know, thank you guys again for all the love and support you continue to show me in the channel, okay? I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great night. I love you all. God bless. Bye.